the Golden State's Warriors. I know, I know this right here is going to get heated because Rev right here is a, a Steph Curry fan. He became one after he won a championship. He wasn't high on him before. He's a bandwagon. Yo, you're sick. <laughs> nah, that's kind of true, though. You wasn't high on him before, bro. Nah, I became a fan. You literally his said first his MVP. He literally called him Glass Ankles Curry, bro. No, his first MVP season, I became a fan, though. It wasn't after he won. It was first first MVP, MVP, okay. So you became a bandwagon. You didn't believe in him before. I guess. Didn't you just become a Bucks bandwagon? You know what? Let's get it. Well, I thought you became a fan his unanimous MVP season. That's no, when you really was, started the jacket. Uh, before that, the first MVP year. Because oh, I was wow. rooting for him that he should have won it. And people were trying to say Harden should have won it. I and think then, Harden should have won it. And the unanimous, I took off. It was like, yep, well, I'll go where he go. That, that moment. What a bandwagon. This Derrick Rose. You're not nah, allowed. Nah, he's still one of my favorites. You're not allowed. Yeah, you're, you're, you need to stop. You see all the jerseys you have in here? What jerseys? You have Nets jerseys. You're not a Nets fan. You, you, you have more Nets jerseys than Knicks jerseys. You're sick. Like, <laughs> crazy. Like, Have you guys ever seen The Herd with Colin Coward? And when he has a guest on, his facial expressions, when... He when somebody else is talking, like his facial expressions would be like <laughs> when somebody else is talking. But on to the topic, Golden State Warriors. They finished thirty nine and thirty three last season. Lost to the Lakers in Memphis. They added Moses Moody, Jonathan Kaminga, Bielitsa, who was a Euro League MVP, Tough. Otto Porter Jr., Andre Iguodala, Chiosa, Chris Chiosa, and they lost <laughs> Eric Pascal. Baysmore and Kelly Oubre. All oh, players that didn't fit their Thank system God. while we're trash. Golden State to me. <laughs> there we go. I love this team, man. I'm, I'm sure adopting I'm adopting this team for the season. Oh, no, you're not. No, yes, you're not. not. <laughs> no, you're not. I filed the paperwork. You're a Nets fan. You're a Nets fan. You adopted the Nets. Oh, yeah. I love the Nets, too. That's my East team, Can too. you stop? No, your East <laughs> team is the Knicks. Knicks, Nets, Warriors. You, you, I have them all. We're, we're not allowing that. I we're not jacking it, but okay. You can't come to the Warriors side. I have them all. The Warriors, they were the fifth seed with Steph Curry when he was healthy. <clears throat> and then they fell off because he got hurt. And that roster was pretty bad. With James Wiseman starting, they started off slow. And when he got injured in in 23 or 25 games, one of those, when they played small with Draymond at the five, the Warriors were on a 60-win pace because Steph Curry was playing phenomenal. He's a human flamethrower. And the Warriors had a top three offense in the NBA. Take a look at the roster. That's not top three offense in the NBA worthy, but it became that because of how great Wiggins. Steph Curry is. That's why Steph Curry is no less than the second best player in the world right now. If, Ste- if, the, if Steph is not the best player, he's the second best. And there's no debate. There's oh no goodness. argument. There's <laughs> nothing around that. There's no way. Is this Joel? Yes. <laughs> Steph Curry, is, is he going for the MVP this season? I think he is. I think the Warriors can finish with the best record in the Western Conference, and it's not a hyperbole. I I've believe in this before. team. I think, I don't know if they'll be the best. I had them slotted at the, as a second seed. <laughs> but the floor for them is a fifth seed and no less than that. This team, Steph Curry, Jordan Poole, most improved player campaign. He's my pick to win most improved player. He averaged 12 points last year. I think he can average 18 this year. Last year, without Oubre on the floor with him, he averaged 16. Oubre stagnated the offense so much. And you look at the depth. They just have so many smart players with Juan Toscano Anderson, who is a a baby Draymond. This guy is smart. He's intelligent. His IQ is off the charts. Is off the charts. Bielitsa, high IQ, European player, EuroLeague MVP. (laughs) This guy, his body doesn't look like he's a great player, but he his IQ is high for the game. He's like <clears throat> the Einstein of basketball. And Eagle Dollar, smart player, Porter Jr., 40% three-point shooter. Bradley. And, and this gets into my other point. The Warriors drafted James Wiseman with the second overall pick. And in hindsight, it's going to be a bad pick. Because if you're a young player you should avoid getting drafted by Golden State for this one reason. You won't get the chance to develop. Right now, they're talking about moving Kaminga to the four, which is basically making him Al Farouk Aminu. Moses Moody's probably not going to play much. Wiseman, 
Golden State wants to go more all in on this small ball lineup. So even when he does come back, he's not going to play insane minutes. I just think young players that get drafted to Golden State don't have the opportunity that they would have if they would get drafted to an OKC or a Houston or a Toronto, like what Scotty Barnes is right now. The opportunity isn't there. Uh, so if I was a Warriors fan, I wouldn't expect much from Wiseman, Kaminga, or Moody because these vets are going to play. But the good thing is they will be a top team in the Western Conference. They will be the second seed in the West. <coughs> hey, Drew. What's going on, man? How you doing? No. <laughs> oh. Um... Like you said, you you know you kind of nailed everything on the head. This team Thanks. was a fifth seed Appreciate when Steph Curry played. When he didn't play, they lost every game, and mm-hmm. they became where they were because he didn't play. But this team, when his team was healthy, they were a fifth seed. Steph Curry's coming in with a chip on his shoulder. Klay Thompson's coming back by Christmas with a chip on his shoulder. Draymond Green with the same thing. This team feels like they could still get it done. With the additions of Otto Porter Jr., who could play the three to five in the small ball lineup. What's his name? Be, be, uh, be Elisa. Elisa. Yeah, I could not pronounce that. You're right, though. The Warriors have a chip on their shoulder, and it's not from the vaccine. Yeah, that, yeah. you got to stop. That was a good one, though. Yeah, trash. Should have <laughs> laughed. <laughs> but, yeah, the Warriors have a chip on their shoulder, and they've built their team around a lot of veteranship, around an IQ, a lot of leadership. And I think, like you said, the young guys might not get some runs, but that's going to be okay because at this moment they don't need them to. You know, they're dealing with teams like Utah, Phoenix, L.A., they need guys who are smart. Last year, what troubled them is they didn't have a lot of smart guys on the court. They had a lot of guys who didn't understand the system, nor they just didn't understand smart basketball, I, a.k.a. Kent Bazemore, who's now playing with Oubre. them. Oubre. he's just, he's Oubre. So now this year, they plug in guys who are smart guys, guys who understand the system, who can play within the system, and guys who just fit around Steph Curry. And I think those additions are great. You know, my ceiling for them is they can be a number one seed in the league. I don't think they will end up being it, but their ceiling is they can be a number one seed. Their floor for me is fifth. I think they're a lock for the playoffs. And I think this team can make the finals. You know, I think this team can match up with teams. like I think this is a dangerous team for Utah because of their small ball lineup. I think they can match up with the Lakers because they have – they're the only team in the league with a guy who can stop Anthony Davis on a consistent basis in Draymond Green. Mm-hmm. So I think that the fact that they have that kind of hinders the Lakers, I think that's a great matchup for them. Phoenix, I think they can compare with them. So I think this is a team that has the tools to match up with any team in the West. This is my pick to come out the West and the make the finals. But I Me think their well. ceiling Maybe is a first round yep. floor, fifth. And I think this team has all the tools to make the finals. Not win it, but all the tools to make the finals. <laughs> Imagine they play the Nets in the final. All right, uh, All right, now that that's over, you guys said a lot of things. And you're about to say nothing. (laughs) But you guys are saying this as if Klay Thompson is going to come back and be that guy. Doesn't need him to be. No, that's what it, no, they need him to be that. Without Klay, they can be the the second best team in the West. Without Klay, really, after they just finished ninth. In the Western Conference, they can come Fifth back with the year. You're going to play that ninth card. I'm just saying, I get it. Bro, they didn't even beat Memphis. Fifth okay. with Curry healthy. <laughs> can I ask you a question? Please. When you lose to Phoenix, what do you, when we bring up you losing to Phoenix, what do you say? AD what? AD who? Were you guys AD hurt? AD didn't? Steph Curry, yeah, he got hurt. He, the reason why the team was ninth seed was because when Steph didn't play, Excuse me, I'm they, it was 10 about games. The game. They didn't win a game. Yeah, you're bringing up something that I'm not even referring to. No, because you're talking about the ninth I'm seed. They wouldn't the, be a ninth I'm seed. I'm talking about the plan. Oh, okay. You guys could have beaten Memphis and gotten in. Could have beat your guys, too. Yeah, you could have. You lost both times. Yeah, and this is the roster <laughs> This is the roster you're saying. It's not can, the roster. Can, What's what's the difference? Baysmore really? and Ubre is not there. Okay, okay. Not and there. and you bring in what Otto Porter Jr. You needed Otto Porter Jr. I agree, Brad. Not, Otto not Porter Jr. is better than any addition you made outside of Westbrook. Uh, and Mello. Mello? And, Mello. <laughs> and Mello. Yeah, that, that's Mello. close. It's really close though. I ain't just... Otto, uh, can you relax? Like Otto Porter's done anything these last few years. <laughs> he's a, he's not a good. He's a good player. He's a good player. He's a good player. He's a good player. <laughs> a good player. Anyways. You guys, listen, my whole thing about the Warriors being good this season is predicated on Klay Thompson. Because from what I saw last season from the Warriors, you're 100% right. When Steph was there, the team was solid. But regardless of that, they still, with Steph Curry, lost two games to to not make it into the playoffs. I'm taking that into account. Now, Klay Thompson needs to be in this roster for me because, one, obviously... He's one of the. He's probably, in my opinion, the second best shooter of all time. You add him into that lineup. Obviously, I don't think the injury is going to affect his jump shooting at all. 
Now, what I do worry about is his defense. Obviously, torn ACL, torn Achilles, back-to-back seasons. I'm not expecting his defense to be what it was 100% for obvious reasons. That's two of the worst sports injuries you could have, and he had them back-to-back. But my ceiling is if Klay Thompson is Klay Thompson, I would say 90%. If he's 90% of what he was, they could be the one seed for sure. But it's predicated on Klay Thompson. This whole thing that they could be the second seed without Klay Thompson is borderline ridiculous. You want to know why that assessment is wrong? Because the Warriors were on a 60-win pace without Klay Thompson. Not worried about that. You should be. <laughs> I'm not because you know what? If they were really that good, they would have won either against the Lakers or Memphis. And Memphis kind that came of... came down to It was great games. No, they were. it was a LA great was game great against game. LA. Memphis, it wasn't. That was a good game. What was the score? It was OT. They went to OT. If that's true, then I apologize. Oh, you're a hundred percent right because Draymond <laughs> took that terrible yeah, last look who shot. Did it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Say it yeah. again. Yeah, yeah. But that's why you need that other option to Clay Thompson. That's Jordan Poole. But then you guys are really thinking that Clay, that uh, Jordan Poole, which I'm not out on. I He's do believe nice. he is nice. He's, He's way big. better than THT. Yes. <laughs> like, not even close. Okay, like, that is, though. That's the not funny an, thing. He's nah, better really than Malik Monk, THC's Kendrick THC's Nunn. Complete. THC's complete. Jordan Poole is lights out. He's a, He is very good. He's a very good shooter, for <laughs> sure. That being said, if he can take over that, that obviously, to a lesser degree, Clay Thompson role, but where's the defense? That's the missing piece right there. Clay Wiggins. Well, to me, it's not even about that because he's not Clay. But with Jordan Poole and Steph Curry... This is the closest thing that we're going to see to what if Steph played with C.J. McCollum. That's what Steph and Jordan Poole is more C.J. and Dame than it is Steph. And I Clay. need to see Jordan Poole do it in the regular season before I can go on board with y'all, which is which is more than fair. That being said, if Clay Thompson's bat is not is let's say sixty percent, if if Clay comes back sixty percent, your hype, you got Steph, Clay, Wiggins, Otto Porter, Draymond. That is. Three forty plus percent shooters, but and then agreed. Wiggins who shoots that a uh, above Decent average clip. clip. Yep. Then coming off the bench, you got Poole and Bielite who sh- are gonna shoot forty percent. Bielite, 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 these last couple of years has been irrelevant. We'll see though. He's gonna shoot forty percent from the clip. You know that he's gonna, he's gonna shoot, and if, if not thirty eight plays though, because you guys are saying like Wiseman's never gonna touch the court either. No, which Wiseman, I Wiseman's play. gonna play, but I don't think Bielite is gonna get more minutes than he does. I don't think that. They could they could play four or five. Bielitsa in Miami got almost no burn. Bam is in front of him. Bielitsa in Sacramento no Bam, got he got cut like a bad habit. That is fair. It's like why do we think that he's going to come to a team that we think? I mean, we've be seen guys. I mean, off the bench, if, off the bench, if they have that lineup, oh man, you got the sniffles. Yeah, dude. my fault. Um, off the, well, not it's not my fault. You're not your fault. It's good, bro. You know, you're sick. It's cool. Um. Yeah. I don't know if you're sick. Or I'm not sick. sick bro. Okay. Don't disrespect me. Avery Bradley's a decent <laughs> pickup too. Listen, if 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 Clay is not there, well, I don't think Avery Bradley's gonna play. Really at all? <laughs> I don't think so. I mean, he was just he's a fill up only, the roster. Really? Yeah. I mean, he's not bad defensively. If you I need, mean, Clay's a I think piece. the bench is Iggy, JTA. If Clay's healthy, Pool, Wiseman, Bialitsa. Clay's gonna nothing's gonna stop Clay's shooting, bro. So no, you, you have no, to no, just, no. You, you have to, let's just, let, yeah. we know the shooting's going to be there. But the biggest reason why Golden State was no, so yeah, dominant the defense, because his defense. Of course, but I think right now at this point in their career, they're established where they're more of a team defense friendly and Wiggins being able to step into that primary defender, yeah. being able to guard other teams' best players is going to help Clay. where now he can guard the secondary. So the starting roster, if Clay is there, is going to be Steph, Clay, Wiggins, Draymond. And probably that scrub Looney. I don't love that. I don't love that either. I don't but love he plays it, but good that's, defense. But that's the team that you're saying is going to be a second. Well, because of their bench. I think that the Suns are better than, the, as a whole, I'm taking the Suns. Utah, the Sun, I wouldn't the take. The Warriors are dog the Suns. No, they wouldn't. They, they would, the, war, the Warriors are probably dog the, the Jazz because of the small ball lineup that they can run. I agree with that. That being said, the Lakers, we, we just gave them a decent matchup with, with LeBron and AD at not even anywhere near 100%. And the they Warriors were 80. They weren't even 75. They were playing. They, the Warriors All were playing the, eight guys. Okay, but. Eight but guys. Who was hurt? Who was hurt from the. Uh, other Wiseman thing? was hurt. Uber didn't Wiseman play that really game. barely Wait, hold plays. up, hold up, hold up. I feel like you're underrating Steph, bro. How? What do you mean? Underrating so, so Steph. So the Lakers. The Lakers. <laughs> the Lakers could give the Suns a fight, but the Warriors can't with Steph. Huh? Say that one more time. I'm sorry. Like the Lakers can give the Suns a fight, but I said, the Warriors can't with Steph. Yes, 
So you don't think the Warriors can give the Suns a fight with Steph? I think that the Suns win that series in six. Oh, okay. That's valid. So with just Steph and no second co-star. Yeah. So you're telling me Steph. If Clay is, so you're if telling Clay me. Is the, oh, listen. Like I said, if if Clay is there, my whole thing is predicated on if Clay is Clay, I'm with you guys. But you guys are trying to tell me that without Clay, they could go to the finals. I said that. Oh, okay. No, I said they could be the second. I said they could be the second seed. They're your favorites to come out of the West. Yes, because they're gonna get Clay back. But yeah, like Clay's coming back throughout the regular season when they don't have Clay, they're gonna win a shit ton of games because of Steph. <laughs> Steph is going to be that. They were on a 60-win pace with no spacing, and now they no, brought that in. Like, I think we're underrating Steph, as crazy I'm as not, it sounds. I'm not trying to underrate Steph. No, he had no spacing, though. No, like, it was not. Steph I is the human that. torch, bro. No, obviously, he's the Flank greatest shooter we'll legitimately ever will see in our lives. We'll die, and we won't see another one. That being said, without Clay, I'm not high on them. Well, Clay's coming back, so stop okay, saying that, that's you, without, 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 that's no. you. That's you. That's you. Yeah, no, without Clay at, Warriors? at his normal place. Um, I kind of agree with Andrew in the sense that Come I don't on. think that this team can really win it. <laughs> he kissed you, yo. That's crazy. Uh, I don't think that this team could really win a championship without Clay being that second best player, that splash brother <laughs> that accommodates Steph Curry. I mean, well, let's just talk without the, Clay well, in the regular season. Where can they finish? I think they could finish anywhere from the four to the thirteen. Okay, which is I'm um, just all solely based off Steph's greatness, but I mean, we do nice. have to we do have to realize that like this isn't the same Warriors team from five years ago. All these guys have age added on them. Draymond Green, obviously, you know we know he's not a great shooter, right? We know he can't really space the floor, right? If Klay Thompson comes back, I agree with Drew. With that ACL and Achilles injury, you're not looking at him as the same all defensive player. And then do you like? And then with Andrew Wiggins, I mean like. Him being your primary defender, he was a he was a very good defender last year, but I don't know. I just think certain matchups in the backcourt or in, or wings are just too much for him defensively. I think Clay at his peak is a better defender than Andrew Wiggins sure. was guarding guarding the best guards, and I just don't. I think that's kind of a heavy burden to put on Andrew Wiggins. But with that being said, I mean, I think the Warriors can. I think their ceiling is probably third seed. I don't think they'll finish better than Utah just because Utah tries really hard in the regular season. They're a regular season team. And then I don't have them over the Lakers just because of the Lakers' star power if the Lakers are healthy. But I have the Warriors anywhere from the third to fourth tee. They're going to be good enough to get home court advantage in the first round, and they're going to be good enough to beat whoever is the playing team or whatever team is slotted, uh, slotted in that position to play them. They're going to be good enough to play them. My problem with the Warriors is the same issue as him. I don't think that these guys are contenders without Klay Thompson. You can say they were on a 60-win pace, but I highly doubt that they were going to win 60 games without like I mean, you could say the pace, but I highly doubt that that it's team, as say. constructed, mm -hmm. was gonna win sixty games. But I mean, if they're all intact and ready to go, I still think the Lakers are just better than them, in my opinion. I think the Lakers are gonna come out, but I think it'll be a good Western Conference Finals matchup. I still think they'll lose in six, but I mean, I'm just not, I, I'm just not sold on the Warriors. This isn't like the Warriors team that was like five years ago. This super team, this team that won seventy three games. All these guys got older. Guys have more injuries on them. Draymond Green regressed as an offensive player. He keeps regressing. I don't know how he keeps regressing as an offensive player because he wasn't that good to begin with. So, I mean, with that being said, I mean, ceiling third, third seed, floor is four seed. I think they're good enough to uh, secure home court.